As a kid, I remember hearing stories of my grandpa going on a road trip from New Hampshire to Alaska. Back in those days, the Alaskan highway was just dirt and gravel. Hearing about his trip inspired me to look north on the map for what could be my own adventure to the last frontier. Because the only thing that drives my passion more than hearing awesome stories is living them. For me, the perfect adventure is one that tempts me to be scared. One that is intimidating enough to give me a mild panic attack before the trip. One that makes me wonder if I've gone off the rails. As a musician, I feel most alive when I truly silence my mind and let my soul do the singing. There's not enough words in the English language to describe the bliss of being fully present in those moments of songwriting. The very nature of this process is one where I have to mentally and spiritually engage and let go at the same time. As a filmmaker, I'm fueled by the magic of sharing stories with people. I dream about the day that my grandkids watch some of my videos. I secretly hope to brainwash them into thinking their grandpa is the biggest badass they could ever imagine. For years, I've dreamed of pulling off a project where I could mesh these three deeply seated passions of adventuring, songwriting, and filmmaking into one. Okay, it just got real. Just got very real. And Stoke is high. Stoke is very high. I'm going away for a while, but I'll be back soon. Whoa, 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 yeah. I'm going away for a while. I'm going to make peace with the stars in the sky and the sun and the moon, yeah. Back up my backpack, pack up my guitar. Well, I'll go, well, I'll go, well, I'll go, well, I'm gone as I turn my face to that. Oh, so faithful sun. I'm not thinking about what's behind, I'm not thinking about what's ahead. Well, all I'm thinking about is what's between me and the horizon. Yeah, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Not a lot of traffic coming through here. Well, I'll That's go, for sure. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. From the land to the shining sea. But I know, I know, I know, I know. There's more to life than what the eye can see. Yeah, he smiled back, yeah. but he didn't pick me up. I can see. Yeah, yeah. And won't you go, won't you go, won't you go, won't you go with me? Cause don't you know, don't you know, don't you know, don't you know? It takes two to make a journey. Yeah, yeah. It takes two, it takes two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes two, it takes two. I thought I was like out in the middle of nowhere on the last stop. But now I am really out in the middle of nowhere. Well, I'll spread my wings out wide. I'll take the leap, I'll take the dive I'll stick my feet in the ground Now look at what we found I'll spread my wings out wide I think you're already doing it right I'll take the leap, I'll take the dive You're already on the right path you got your recording Like manually, manuscript and video And making music It's just like you're doing it and trying to find the nature of God. You got it. You're on the right track. Rad. <laughs> so right now, the border patrol guy who searched the truck is deciding whether he wants to let me into Canada because he knows that I'm hitchhiking. He's... We don't know what's going to happen. He might not let me into Canada. I didn't make it into Canada. I was honest, and I said I was hitchhiking to Alaska. And I guess somewhere deep in the bylaws, hitchhiking is illegal? Which is crazy to me. I don't know if it's illegal through and through or just like just on the interstate. I don't know for sure. I'm going to look into that, but... 
So I, I traveled back south to a town not too far from the border. It's kind of a long story with how it all went down, but basically it's it's a low. I'm at a low right now. I'm stranded, it's getting dark. Don't know really where to go sleep and don't really have a great plan to try to get into Canada. It's been a rainy morning. The rain just let up. Got my stuff all packed up and ready to go. And today I'm going to try to cross the Canadian border Again. I'm in Canada, baby. Let's go. Woo! Woo! I'm in Canada. Yes, yes. Oh my god. Oh, sweet lord. Sweet baby Jesus. Woo, dog. Woo! BJ was a godsend. I'm just gonna say it. Big thanks to my friend BJ for helping me along. I don't know, it's it's unexplainable, really. It's, he picked me up and took me across the border. I mean, he trusted that I wasn't smuggling any drugs. I met BJ about seven miles south of the Canadian-US border. Took me across, things went smooth. I had all the documents they asked for, and we're about a couple hundred miles north of the border now, and BJ's gonna take me out to lunch. Big day. I wanna just go nuts right now, but I probably shouldn't because I'm out in public, and I wanna make a good impression on BJ. He's getting some tax work done right now in this building right here. So amazing. I think I'm on the right road, I'm trying to trying to go north. Stoke is very high. Also, BJ got me a couple of beef tacos, which were delicious, and he gave me 20 Canadian dollars, which is awesome. It's unbelievable. I don't know what to do with all the money. It's so much money. Actually, I ran out of toothpaste, like two days into the trip. your brow loosen up a little bit yeah and show me a smile we could both unwind and go down the road just a few more miles and joy we will find at least a little bit yeah at least a little bit yeah <laughs> well i could give you some company and i could show you some love I could be there for you to talk to And I would stay up uh, If you would just Take me closer, yeah Take me closer Take me closer, yeah To my destination Take me closer, yeah Take me closer Take me closer, yeah To my destination They're bigger And they're more aggressive Thanks, man. I appreciate all the advice. Be safe out there, man. I got grizzly bears on my mind. Watch out for the grizzlies. They're out here. I just hope this time they don't keep me up at night. That looks like bear poop. I got mosquitoes buzzing round my bed. I got thoughts of romance dancing in my head. And I love the smell of the unknown. And I love to see that beautiful open road. And I'd love to stay, but I really. to go So won't you take me closer yeah take me closer take me closer yeah to my destination take me closer yeah take me closer take me closer yeah to my destination Thanks so much man
Where are you coming from? Colorado. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm JJ. I'm Justin. That's cool. I like I like doing that shit too. Just fucking taking off. Go away. What are you doing? It. Go away. What are you doing in here? I'm pooping. Go away. Get out of here. I'm very excited to be using some new toothpaste. This is where I will be showering. I don't smell terrible, but I don't smell great. I wanna up my smell game for whoever's gonna be picking me up next. Gotta be a good steward of people's noses, you know? That's the best kind of food. Thank Seriously, you that would get you so through. Much, man. Oh, you, thank you. You have no idea, man. Oh, just make the universe great again. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. You bet. Hey, it was nice much. talking to you. Let's pray. Indeed, though. Let's do it. Father in heaven, we just thank you for this day, Lord, that we met each other, God. Amen. Okay, go with God. Lord, take care of it. My last philosophy, philosophy is live for Jesus every day and share him with others. Amen. Thanks, Tim. You bet. Have a good one. I'll have fun. Never grow up. I'm love people and make an impact on everyone that I see. Oh, my goodness. Well, my daughter made it for me. It's not hard to be a nice person. Everyone should be nice. <laughs> See you later, bud. God bless hey. you, Carrie. Live long and prosper. <laughs> <laughs> no. Live in the moment and plan for the future. Yes, dude. If you have a lot, whether it's money or happiness or resources or love, then you have a responsibility <laughs> to share that with people who don't have as much as you. Heck yeah. One of the things I'm doing is uh, everyone who I interact with who picks me up, I've been asking them what their life philosophies are. So just kind of like what you live your life by. You know? Oh my god. Don't, don't, don't let it intimidate you too much. Work hard, trust God. And so I'm in a cop car right now. But I'm not going to jail. In fact, it looks like I might be going to get a hot meal. This is just mind blowing. Do you usually do this for hitchhikers? I've done it a few times. Thanks, man. Let's get a coffee. Life is an adventure. Go live it, have fun, and don't be afraid to explore this world and everything it has to offer. My life philosophy is that life is like a circle. There's no beginning and no end, and so you don't have to worry about rushing because there's always going to be time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I just try to be yourself and to be completely full. It's, we are much more than we think. Mm. Much more and can be much more connected to anyone. It just, we just have to unleash and accept and try. It's, it's good for that. And once you do that, you just overwhelm and you can just connect to people. I'm a believer in, you know, good things come to good people with good intentions. You know, it's easy to be a shithead. <laughs> it's easy not to trust anybody and it's easy not to do that. But you know what, if everybody did that, the world would be a hell of a lot worse place than it already is. The only thing that I can do is to spread positive energy in my little circle of life and the people that I affect in a positive way will go out and spread it and you know affect the people in their circle a positive way. But basically if I just have to say one word it would be like breath. That would be the best philosophy I can ever give to anyone just and as soon as you're doing this, man, everything just flows. And anything you're gonna start, just start with this, man. With mm. this stomach and all this energy right here. And just easy going, present time, and just one thing at a time. That will be, that will be all, man. Yeah, that will be all. And just gotta start to cook something. Start to be finally hungry. Dude, I say. Yeah, it's <laughs> the time we meet finally, man. Yeah, dude. I've, I've seen this guy three times on the road. We've been leapfrogging along the highway. Arthur is from France and he's hitchhiking pretty much all over the world. He's going up to Alaska as well. Yeah. It would be cool to run into you. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like this, you have more, you know, opportunity to get a, to get a ride. Appreciate it. And then if yeah, you have some room in the car yeah, that's gonna take yeah, you, yeah. just say, oh, I know a cool guy. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that's gonna work. For sure. See you, JJ. God bless you, God. Hey, JJ. Yeah, he told me to pick you up, but, uh, but I would have picked you up anyway. Yeah. All right. Will do. I don't remember what I was doing. I think I was just hiking lunch, and then I see, this, you know, hut just going to the river, and I needed one, so I just dive, got it, and then I say, yeah, cool one. Very cool.
camera. They've all been tall enough generally to catch themselves. You need to be kind of tall and have long legs to get on this. <laughs> <laughs> you come on, you got it. You got it. <laughs> and did they make a lot of bite exist in the door time? Uh, no, we we just made, well, Marl made it. He was bored. <laughs> this is like a trick you play on the tourists, huh? Pretty yep. much, yeah. Okay, it gets a bit tricky. There <laughs> oh, there you go, there you go. <laughs> Honestly, man, you're very good. I was about to, you know, make a lot of drugs, but you're doing very well. All right, let's try it out. Morale is low right now. Arthur and I tried to hitchhike together. We didn't get a ride out of here. Because of that, we're now dealing with the rain. We're waking up to some pretty wet gear. I don't know if you can tell, but the mosquitoes are swarming right now like there's so many mosquitoes look at all these f <laughs> I got out of my tent you know so that's good we're gonna try to get a ride again today out of here <laughs> don't get a ride you just wake up and you try again the next day the highways just down that way through those trees this is what you would call bad hitchhiking weather try to look dry as you can you know look dry look uh, look like you're having a good time so that may they might want to hang out with you all that kind of stuff. And uh, we're still here. We've relocated, but we are still here. We got another coffee? It's so hot, man. That's amazing. We do have a place where we can crush for tonight. Look at this beautiful. We put the bag below, we put just the things right here. Uh huh. And no one can see us, and we have a view. Now we have a view. Uh, someone just dropped. Someone called tennis. And she's living here, so she saw us for a long time. And she just said to bring us something because we look cold. She will be back in an hour. And she told me she would bring watermelon and peanut butter sandwich. And I was like, you don't have to do it. But she was convinced. And then she saw you, she was like, whoa, I have to bring twice more. Oh my, that's amazing, man. Oh, tennis, she's the best. What did you get up there? Release the tension. Release the tension. <laughs> it's a little bit shy tonight, you know, it's quite cold. <laughs> when I don't understand, I remember that I am just a man. And when I don't think I can, I will give you both of my hands. It's taken me so long. To discover that my will is on and so strong And it's taken me so long To see that my well is only so deep But now I know That I need God to carry on See you down the road, buddy Just an amazing guy so fun to travel with. I'm gonna miss him a lot. And when I don't think I can, I will give you both of my hands. Well, I am just a man and I don't understand all the things that happen to you and me. We're not meant to know everything, but that's okay because it's a part of the journey. Some things are left to the divine. But if you seek, then you will find many good things in the spirit you'll see. And wiser you will be So knock knock and he'll answer the door Bring a big cup and in it he will pour He'll give you some love then he'll give you some more His name is the good lord His name is the good lord Chasing the red light get bold That's the blood of my Christ He dead then he rose Travel to the unknown It's a long crooked road then we get home Look in the mirror What's your It's just a matter of time you trip where you're home and the My charm will get someone to pull over and pick me up. You've been adopted in. You're a kid again. You've been chosen. You've been adopted in. You're just gonna keep this around having a good time. You've been chosen. You've been adopted in. You're just getting late and it's getting cold, but I. Only so strong. 
so strong. And it's Gosh, me I cannot so believe to see that my it actually worked. We have made it to Alaska. Hell yeah! Woo! That's a neat god to carry. magic of hitchhiking right here. The magic of mutual trust, the magic of the kindness of strangers. There's a saying that we've all heard. Life is short. I'm starting to realize how true that saying really is. It won't be long until we're laying in our deathbed wondering what legacy we've left behind. Will you let this one short life pass you by as if you had no choice in the matter? Or will you have a full quiver of stories to tell your grandkids when you're old and gray? What are you dreaming about doing? Is it crazy? Does it feel risky? Do you get a little anxious when you think about actually doing it? That's the adventure you need to go on. There's an ember deep inside your chest that needs to be stoked. Go stoke it. The Longest Ride Award goes to Mr. Paul Wood. Yeah, Alaska! <laughs> yes! yes! That's amazing. Let the leaves fall down and gather all around. Let's reflect and see what we've been. And let's reflect and see where we're going now. And see where we're going now. Everything I've learned has gone with fire. Everything oh, shit. I've learned has gone with fire. Now, what kind of poop is that? The fresh? Ah oh, shit, I should have researched my shit. Ah, poop! I should have researched my poop. For real though, this is no joke. I'm in bear country. Gotta take this shit seriously. I don't know what the frick kind of shit that is. Okay, it's seriously not funny. Like, it's funny, but it's not, you know, kind of thing. To run naked and free, and to always drink and be merry around a stoked fire. Yeah!